All right, welcome back to another episode of Paul's Collectibles. If you're new to the channel, it's good to have you. Thanks for stopping by and giving me a shot. And if you're a subscriber or someone who's been watching my videos for a while, I really appreciate having you. Thank you so much. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a whole box of figures that I got from a buddy of mine. His name is Mark Shabby Geek. He's got a great YouTube channel. It's kind of a variety channel. He collects lots of toys. Great, hilarious guy. Does lots of comedy skits on his videos and stuff like that. But most importantly, he also has his family in on it as well. Collects a lot of Masters of the Universe, Star Wars, and a smattering of other things too. Like one video where he picked up a couple of Teddy Ruxpins from the 80s. That was pretty wild looking. But anyway, uh, Shabby's in the process of downsizing his collection slightly. He concentrates mostly on black series and he realized he had a whole bunch of three and three quarter inch Star Wars action figures that he wanted to remove from his collection. Like I said, we're friends. I'd hooked him up with some figures in the past and I was lucky to have him think of me. And he said, hey, I have these figures available. Which ones would you like? And I picked some of them out and he refused to accept payment for them, sent them to me as a good friend. So today we're gonna get into that box of figures, take a look at what Shabby has sent me and see what I'll be adding to my three and three quarter inch Star Wars action figure collection today. Okay, so I got the box open and to begin with, Shabby sent me this great letter with his logo up top there. It says, hey, Mr. Caramel. Well, that's kind of an inside joke in case those of you that don't know. Apparently I have a smooth voice and Luke from Luke uh, from Reynolds Reviews called me smooth caramel voice and it's just kind of stuck. So that's what he's talking about there. I am so happy we got to know each other this year. Here are your figures. Sorry it took so long, my friend. Enjoy, Shabby. Shabby, thank you so much. As you do as well, I will be holding on to this note as it is really cool and I appreciate you including that in there. And I'm just so excited that you were actually able to send these pictures to me because I know you got a big family and you got a lot of stuff going on and it means the world to me. So let's take a look at the first figure. Okay, the first figure is from the Legacy Collection that he sent me. This is Yoda and Kai Buck. Kai Buck comes with the tiny little Yoda figure in there. Wow, he's really dark skinned as well. And this weird horned beast of burden that he comes with in there as well that he can ride around on. These older Legacy Collection um, cards have the Stormtrooper in the background and they come with like some accessories or something in the box here. That's pretty cool. But yeah, so first up we have Yoda and Kai Buck. Next up, we have what they're calling Han Solo. And it's kind of funny. This is from the original trilogy collection. When he sent the pictures of the figures that he was looking to get rid of, I thought this was an ATST driver and didn't pay close enough attention. And it's kind of funny because up here, as you can see, it says Han Solo. This is obviously that brief moment in Return of the Jedi where he dresses as an ATST driver to get them to open the door so they can rush in and take over the shield generator on Endor. So that's pretty cool. I didn't even know they made a figure like that. But he's from Return of the Jedi, as I mentioned. And these OTC cards were just beautiful. Like they have the old school Star Wars logo on the old school racetrack running around the sides there. That's going to be a great addition. Thanks for that one, Chevy. Next up, we have Moma Nadon. This is the Athorian that was in the Cantina in A New Hope. And this is from the Saga Collection. I jokingly refer to some of these older card waves as the environmentally friendly cards because there's just so much plastic on them. It's nearly impossible to light them without seeing the lights and getting a glare. So that's why I'm moving it around so much. But this guy is just awesome. I love how he's got the drink in his hand and he's got his staff up here and they've added some blue accents to his head and his hands and the tunic on this guy is really good. I'd forgotten how good these Saga Collection figures were. I have a bunch of these in my collection. And when Shabby showed me the picture of this one, I thought, wow, I gotta have that one as well. That's gonna be really cool. So that will be awesome. So Shabby sent me seven figures in all, just such great generosity. I can't believe he just refused to take money for them. And I am just blown away by how awesome it was of him to just send me these seven characters just because we were friends. But I can guarantee you Shabby, they will enjoy an excellent home here at Paul's Collectibles. But anyway, the last four are all the old 3.75 Star Wars Black Series figures back when the vintage collection was no longer a thing and they were trying to decide what they were gonna do. 
Back to the figures. This Imperial Navy commander is just awesome. His helmet obviously is removable. You see it up there in the top right corner. He's got the blaster down here, the one with the silver tip on it. I'm not sure which one that is, but these are just great figures. They did such a good job on them. And I really am a fan of the Imperial Forces. So this one is just gonna be a great addition to my collection. And these Black Series figures also, these 3.75 ones, had a problem with the bubbles coming off. This one, however, is still fully intact. And I just am excited to have that one. So thank you once again, Shabby. Next up, as many of you may know, I'm a huge Jedi, Sith, and Trooper collector so when he showed me the picture of having this yoda i just snapped it right up i was like yeah please send me that one this one is really wild i've never seen this before either the yoda figure is super thin and he's actually kind of taller he's not as hunched over as many of the yoda figures are that you see these days he comes with a little bitty looks like a necklace maybe or and then his cane down here and he's got the backpack which looks like it might actually work that buckle might actually work so you could put it on a star wars figure and have them carry him around in their backpack but look at that little guy soft goods cape soft goods robe just an awesome figure and the bubble on this one is as fresh as the day they made it they made it as well Here's another type of figure that I don't have any of, and this is Darth Vader Dagobah Test. So uh, theoretically, that's Luke's head inside there. And as you can see, he's got blue eyes and the helmet portion on the front has been blown off. So it's right in here in the package. So maybe that's Luke's face in there. It kind of looks like it in the picture down below here, doesn't it? Got the red lightsaber, but like I said, I collect the Sith and the Jedi, pretty much anybody that's holding a lightsaber. And this one is just really wild. I love the attention to detail in here and the soft goods interior cloak that they put on there. But wow, what, what a great figure. And once again, I got lucky. The bubble on this is still attached and it looks as good as the day they made it. Thanks again, Shabby. And then finally, the only figure that's suffering from the loose bubble disease that Shabby told me about this guy, Darth Vader, just the standard Darth Vader, has come completely off of the card back. But if you hold it together, you can see it's got his unignited hilt here. It's got the regular lightsaber ignited. It's obviously been stored somewhere for a while. It's pretty dusty on top there. <laughs> and then the regular Darth Vader character. But man, these Black Series figures, they did such a good job on him. I mean, it's just really good looking figure. The only problem with this, like I said, is it's come apart from its card back. If anybody has any suggestions on what type of glue or what's the best way to reattach that to the card back, I would love some suggestions in the comments down below. But there you have it. Seven awesome figures sent to me by the indomitable Mark Shabby Geek over at Shabby Geek. And I just cannot begin to tell you how thankful I am. Thank you so much, Mark, for sending these to me. It was really awesome of you. I really appreciated it. When I sent those other figures to you, I never expected anything in return. And boy, how, man, this has just been a great, unexpected pleasure, great trade. And I'm so excited to have these characters. And I promise you, they will enjoy a good home here at Paul's Collectibles. Well, they'll be appreciated and well taken care of. So you'll never have to worry about that. But with that, Thanks for joining me once again, and I will see you on the next video.